What's up guys, Amira Borders here with the Daily Emerald to get you caught up on all things new this week. The University of Oregon Senate voted to approve a permanent policy that bans university faculty, staff, or employees from having relationships with students on campus at its Wednesday afternoon meeting. The policy was put into place to prevent faculty from abusing their power over students. In some cases, GEs are still allowed to have relationships with undergrads as long as they aren't in the same class or academic field. The Committee on Sexual and Gender-Based Violence created this policy to replace a temporary relationship policy that expired earlier this week. Although the government has temporarily reopened, the shutdown affected students and faculty across campus. About 80% of research funding granted to U of O faculty comes from federal resources. Some agencies that fund U of O research, such as the National Science Foundation, were closed during the shutdown. This delay becomes especially problematic for researchers when their proposals are time sensitive. Along with research, student financial aid was affected as well. According to Jim Brooks, Director of Student Aid and Scholarships, difficulties did come up for some students when trying to verify information for their FAFSA with other federal agencies that are closed during the shutdown. Brooks went on to explain that the number of students whose financial aid at the U of O was impacted is much smaller than that at other schools, and that other schools where more students come to campus in the winter are facing more challenges. Many students and their families that work for the Coast Guard, TSA, FBI, IRS, and other federal agencies had their paychecks held until the government was reopened earlier this week. Check out the full article on thedailyemerald.com or pick up a copy of last week's paper on newsstands. This week, one of our opinion columnists, Emma Spaeth, came out with an article regarding the stigma of mental health in college athletics. Spaeth writes about how collegiate athletic facilities have doctors and therapists for every bone and muscle to ensure that these athletes are physically fit to compete where they lack is in mental health department. She goes on to explain that being mentally healthy is just as important as an athlete's physical well-being, but it's often overlooked. Go check out the rest of her article at thedailyemerald.com. We have a new podcast series out for all the sneakerheads out there called Not Another Sneaker Podcast. Jake Willard and guests discuss everything from sneaker history to exchanging experience of buying a shoe. You can find this podcast and many others on our website. That's it for this week's episode. Thanks for tuning in. And now you're caught up with the Daily Emerald.